ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories In continuation of previous training on ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, Class 6.2, we are going to detail about Class 6.3, Facilities and Environmental Conditions. This training includes examples of non-conformances in Class 6.3, it will be very helpful to all the laboratory professional and students in clearing the interviews with respect to ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017 requirements. Now we are detailing Clause 6.3, Facilities and Environmental Conditions. It provides details about the facilities and environmental conditions required for best performance of the laboratory and to ensure the generation of quality results. The facilities and environmental conditions shall be suitable for the laboratory activities and shall not adversely affect the validity of results. It means that, laboratory should have suitable facility with all necessary resources such as workbenches, suitable area for performing the testing activities, and suitable environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity, lighting, etc., and laboratory has to ensure that those facilities and environmental conditions are not adversely affecting or not invalidating the quality of results. The requirements for facilities and environmental conditions necessary for the performance of the laboratory activities shall be documented. Laboratory should documents what kind of facilities and environmental conditions based on type testing conducting in the laboratory which includes acceptance criteria for environment conditions such as temperature limits, humidity limits, lux limit for lighting, pressure, vibration, electromagnetic disturbances, etc., based on type of testing. The laboratory shall monitor control and record environmental conditions in accordance with relevant specifications, methods or procedures, or where they influence the validity of the results. Laboratory has to monitor the environmental conditions on based on the frequency defined in laboratory-specific procedure and control the environmental conditions. Example, using air conditioners, dehumidifiers, use of vibration-resistant pads, vibration-resistant tables, etc. Laboratory should record the environmental conditions as per the defined frequency in the procedures. Those environmental conditions should be according to relevant specification, or, test, or calibration methods, or any specific procedure. Laboratory should ensure that environmental conditions are not adversely influencing the validity of results. Always laboratory environmental conditions should be within defined acceptance criteria. If any deviation in the environmental conditions, laboratory has to initiate the appropriate corrective action to avoid invalidating the results and to avoid recurrence of same. Measures to control facilities shall be implemented, monitored, and periodically reviewed and shall include, but not be limited to, access to and use of areas affecting laboratory activities. Laboratory should give only access to authorized personnel to enter in the laboratory, avoid unauthorized entry into lab to avoid invalidating results. Prevention of contamination, interference or adverse influences on laboratory activities. Laboratory should take the appropriate measures to prevent contamination such as fumigations, regular disposal of laboratory-generated waste, and ensure that there are no interferences or adverse influences on laboratory activities, which may lead to invalidation of results. Effective separation between areas with incompatible laboratory activities. There should be effective separation between incompatible activities such as chemical testing area and microbiology testing area, standard preparation area or microbial cultures preparation area and sample preparation area, etc. When the laboratory performs laboratory activities at sites or facilities outside its permanent control, 
It shall ensure that the requirements related to facilities and environmental conditions of this document are met. It means, if the testing activity performing at customer site, or site away from permanent laboratory. In those sites also laboratory has to ensure that, it is meeting the predefined, documented requirements, and also meeting the requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, Class 6.3. Takeaway from Clause 6.3 of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. Laboratory facilities should be suitable to perform the testing activities without affecting the quality of results. Suitable environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity, free vibrations, noise, electromagnetic disturbances, lighting, etc. And record, control, and monitor the same. Lab access to authorized person only. Effective separation between incompatible activities ensuring contamination-free environment. When testing performing outside the lab, same thing should be ensured to achieve the quality of results. Examples of non-conformances as per Class 6.3. Laboratory is not having suitable environment conditions for performing the testing activity. Example, as per the method requirements test, or, calibration to be performed at 20 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade but lab temperature found to be 29 degrees centigrade. Laboratory has not documented the facility and environmental conditions required for correct performance of testing, or, calibration. Laboratory is not monitoring, not controlling, and not recording the environmental conditions of laboratory. Laboratory is not having access restrictions to critical areas of testing, or calibration areas for unauthorized entry. Laboratory is not taking any measures to prevent contamination in the microbiology area, such as fumigation. Laboratory chemical testing area and microbiology testing areas are not effectively separated. Hope you enjoyed learning about Clause 6.3, Requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. Please let us know if you have any comments or if you want any other trainings from us. Subscribe our channel for regular updates on trainings. Your comments will encourage us in providing useful trainings. Help others by sharing this training courses to upgrade their knowledge. Thank you. Happy learning!